Today's video is on blue Acara cichlids. I've done a bunch of videos on electric blues and that is the new morph of what is originally the blue Acara. And I have tons of videos on electric blue fish because that's kind of the new popular craze right now is manipulating the genes to make them more colorful and vibrant. Uh, some of the fish are a lot less sturdy like the electric blue Jack Dempsey in my opinion. They're having problems all over the industry and I do, I, I do have some really sturdy ones right now, but I probably went through uh, a dozen of them easily. But that is a, a story in itself. A lot of you guys know that I'm a South American cichlid at heart, and this really touches base with me because uh, the blue acaras are South Americans, and this is just, this is my true obsession, South American cichlids. Let's talk about... Um, I'm gonna flip the cam here because you guys have been complaining I've been showing my uh, my face too much and you want to see more fish so let's do it so like I said the electric blue Acara is actually a more from the regular Acara and you're seeing less and less of the regular cars in stores just because the electric blue is a more vibrant coloration and they're just going to be more popular than the regular blue Acaras. and I did a quick search for these fish to buy right now and on Imperial Tropicals, they're selling them for $14.99. And uh, I highly advise if you're looking to buy online, they're a great place to do that. So as far as taking care of Acaras, this is an awesome, awesome fish, guys, because they don't get overly large either. These things only get like five, six inches in length. And they're a sturdy fish that is able to hold down their own aggression with a little bit of attitude. As you can see in this video, I have them in this 6 foot 125 with a flower horn, three Jack Dempseys, and Texas cichlids. So they are definitely going to hold down their own, and uh, I would say they're probably maybe even at the top of the level of aggressors in this tank, if that makes any sense. I would say the flower horns, number one, uh, the Texas cichlids and the Jack Dempsey's are a close tie, and then it's probably the Acaras. And they're really vigorous eaters, they're really opportunistic, they're gonna be one of the first to eat, and that's always true with Acaras. Even though these are electric blues, these are super, super sturdy fish, and that's why I love them. People always ask me, you know, oh, I have electric blues, but how in the heck do you get yours so vibrant and colorful? And to be completely honest, I have no, I have no answer. I mean, I'm just doing basic, fish keeping here. I, this is a Hikari food I'm feeding. This is nothing over the top expensive food. I just do regular water changes. I really personally believe that creating uh, community tanks for these fish to thrive in is why my fish do so well. Like I have a tendency to stack tanks full of fish, but then do water changes like every couple days. And it just, I, I really am confident that when you put fish in a community they just do so much better so as far as the tank size for these guys i would like to see you put them in a 75 gallon tank they do get five six inches long like i said i guess a 55 may work but this they do grow to a decent sized fish and it's just worth it to get a, a a little decent size a little decent what what the heck am i trying to say a larger decent sized tank so that you could create a community as well and these are community fish guys like i i highly advise just create your own south american community get some green tears some jack dempsey's some geos some um other maybe more acaras severums these are such awesome fish to do that with and some people keep them with angel fish it's just really the it's gonna the world's in your hands as far as what you want to create your habitat with but when, uh, these tough sturdy south american cichlids are my favorite fish on the planet because they're so colorful they, sh they show so much uh personality like it's ridiculous all right so instead of just sitting here and saying all the positive things in the world about these fish what are some things you maybe have to watch for that i've seen i would say um, it's very common. These fish do breed very easy and you'll know quick because all of a sudden they'll become like 10 times more aggressive and they'll block off a section of the tank and call it their own and they will not let any more fish in that area and the aggressive 
the aggressiveness goes south really fast when they're trying to breed. So that's probably the biggest thing you're going to have to watch for. I would say maybe second thing, uh, just personal feuding going on between certain fish. I've seen that before too. Um, you can contradict that with putting some terracotta pots in there and pipes. As you see in my tanks, I use a lot of hiding spots. It really helps. Um, guys, Akara cichlids are one of my favorites. If you have any stories or own these, hit up the comment section. Let me know what you think of them. Give this video a like. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I live and breathe this fish life. I am opening a store soon. If you're looking at maybe buying fish, contact me. Add me, add my personal Facebook on, ugh, ugh, add my personal Facebook account. I'm not afraid to add people I don't quite know. All right, guys. Woo